Making mobile prototypes in Axio just got quite a lot easier with the new Axio 6.5 beta. Uh, here's a little prototype I've laid out using uh, the iPhone stencil kit by Paul Sizemore. I've got a scrolling page and a page with fixed bars using the uh, where is it? Pin to browser command. And I've got a fixed style page where I don't want the user to be able to scroll. I can now build this and deploy it to either a real iPhone or the iPhone simulator and have it behave pretty much the way I want it to. The trick is up here under the generate prototype menus. We go down to mobile. In the latest version of the beta, there's some new commands here which are very handy. First one being hide address bar and the other one being hide the browser bar. If you want your uh, prototype app to also have an application icon and a splash screen, um, just design those according to the specifications there, 114 pixels or 320 pixels for the splash screen and import them. Um, here's one I made earlier. This is the iPhone simulator. And uh, there is my, there's my page running. Um, so how do you get that running on your phone? So just build your prototype as normal and then navigate to it using Safari. There's our page. But now you can add to home screen. And it will save the icon, uh, it will save the app locally for you. There's my splash screen. There's my scrolling page. There's my fixed page. And here's a page where I'm trying to have scrolling and fixed elements, which doesn't quite work. You can see I can scroll and then the, uh, the bar sort of snap into place. Um, but still very, very cool.